a todos y bienvenidos un día más al Noon School Brass Festival Caudete 2023. Sexta entrevista, en este caso tenemos a de Marie Federl. Voy a pronunciar su nombre bastante mal todas las veces, pero bueno, estoy presentando en castellano, pero dentro de nada vamos a cambiar al inglés porque no habla, no habla castellano, pero tendréis todos los subtítulos aquí debajo para que podáis seguir la, seguir la entrevista. Así que pasamos con ello. Sorry, I was just making everything clear. Welcome. How are you, are you enjoying the yeah, school? Yeah, yeah. It's it's the long days. It's pretty full on, but yes. it's good fun. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You did you know the the festival before? No. It's not no. pretty pretty common in in the no. in the UK to know it. No, but then everyone here has said it's like the yeah, it's one of the yeah. big, two biggest. Festivals. It will be. It will be. Or, yeah, it will be known the, in the almost, UK. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some point. First of all, before we start talking about everything we have to talk, <laughs> I want you to tell them your age, because it's quite important. <laughs> I'm 20. I'm nearly 21, but I'm 20. So you're 2002? Yeah. Okay. 2002, 20, 20, let's say 21 years old, so it's yeah. not as impressive as it's yeah. going to be. Okay. <laughs> so this lady here is the first principal horn in London Philharmonic Orchestra. Aurora Orchestra, and you won the 2020 BBC Young Musicians Brass Competition. Yes. It's quite a lot <laughs> for being 20, 21 years old. It's no, absolutely impressive. I mean, for Ricardo, you play in London Symphony Orchestra, yeah, but, well, but for yeah, us, we talk about me. London Philharmonic <laughs> Orchestra. How? Like, it's, it's the first question that everyone has. Like, what, what do you have that, sorry, Carlos doesn't <laughs> because he's a horn player. Sorry, Carlos, it's not. It's not because of you. It's, everyone else in the world hasn't. Um, to be honest, I think I've, I've been in the right place at the right time quite a few times, and I think just one thing has led to another. Um, and obviously, I've practiced a lot, but I've also really? got, I've yeah. also <laughs> I've also yeah. got lucky. I think I think uh, yeah, being in the right place at the right time is such a big thing. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, your principal horn in two amazing orchestras and you're still studying. Yeah. You're going to do fourth year in Royal Academy of yes. Music. Yeah. We're going to be colleges. I'm doing the interview and you've been interviewed. So it's, <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> it's, 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 wait. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not very much in, oh, in Academy, but no. I will see you in, in sure Royal I'll Festival Hall or wherever. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be in touch. Yeah. Uh, we always, uh, in, in these interviews, we always ask to our interviews, what Like, which is your first musical memory? What is the first thing you remember from your musical life? Or even from um, something? Playing the recorder with my, my mum and my sister when I was really little. Uh -huh. um, well, my, my parents both play the violin as a hobby, so they kind of always had, well, we always had music around us. Um, so, yeah, I remember we, we, we used to sing a lot, we used to sing a lot of songs, we used to play, yeah, play recorder. Um, Is that a German thing or something? The singing, because in the UK, I can't I don't know. Maybe, no, I, I don't know. I think, yeah, no, my, my parents just really liked music and, okay. <laughs> and wanted to give, give that to us as well, um, which I'm very grateful for. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, we just, yeah, singing like children's songs and then, yeah. We haven't, the we haven't mentioned it, but your, both your parents are German. Yes. And you moved to Cambridge when you were three years yes. old. Do you consider yourself more German or more British? Um, it's tricky. Now, probably more British um, because, well, I've, I haven't lived with my parents for three years now. Um, yeah, I've, I've grown up in the UK. I've had everything mm -hmm. in the UK. So right now, I, I do feel more British. But I'm, I'm very glad I have the German language and I have, I can, yeah, I have a German passport, which is really useful. That's um, very <laughs> useful with the Brexit. It's... So yeah, it's, it's nice to have both. You've played in great orchestras in the UK, in, in Great Britain. Have you played in, in Germany? I've not, uh, I've, I've performed in Germany, but yes, not in an well, orchestra. You want no. to at some point in your life, like I'm, go I'm back to your to, origins? I'm going to Munich to do oh? some playing in December. With? Yeah. The Bavarian Radio. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just one week. <laughs> yeah, one, one I, normal I, I, orchestra yeah, in, yeah. in Germany. <laughs> Let's talk um, about your career because you started. You first. I read that you first uh, auditioned for BBC before actually you won it, and then yeah. you decided to do it. You decided to do it again. Yeah. So in uh, 2018, when I was 15, I auditioned for it for the first time and got to the brass final. Mm -hmm. I didn't win the, the brass final, but um, that I, it was still a lot further. Than you know I was who won that year? Get. Isabel Dwarfs. 
Is he doors? Oh, Trombone? yes, is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Um, yeah, I, and I, I like to. She's in Galaico actually now, so yes, she's in Spain yeah, at the same time. She's in Spain as, right now. Yeah, as well. yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I, I really enjoyed it, and um, so I just thought I'd apply again. It happens every two years, so I applied again two years later. And, um, and you won. And then I won the brass final and got to the, the concerto final, which was really exciting. And, but then that was in the middle of COVID, so it, the that final was, got postponed. It was the one that was like one year, almost yeah. one year postponed. Yeah, so we had the, the category finals always in one week, and then the semi final, which is all of the, cat the five category winners against each other at the end of that week. And that, um, that, that these um, rounds happened in the Royal Welsh College of Music, mm -hmm. and the uh, the semi final was on a Sunday. The Monday after, so the day after, they shut the college completely, and yep. everything in that in that coming week, everything shut completely. And COVID next happens. year, you were already starting academy. Yeah. Was that year useful for practicing for yeah. the, that final? Oh yeah, definitely. Do you think you would have won it if it was the previous year, or that year gave you that? Um, well, I did the final. I didn't win anyway, so well, yeah, <laughs> well, but didn't make a difference anyway. No, but I, I, I felt so much more prepared for the. For Actually, the yeah, the grand final was the one that was postponed. Exactly. So the category final was still um, yes, in was, 2020. Yes, was the, time. Grand, the, the concerto final was in, in mm -hmm. 2021. And then you went to Royal Academy. Why? Any other choices of college, or you just wanted um, to go? To I also academy? applied for the Royal College. The, um, the good one. The good one. <laughs> <laughs> but my my, I had Richard Watkins privately mm -hmm. um, as yeah. a teacher for several years before I studied at the academy, and he is a teacher at the yeah. at the academy. So it kind of made sense for me to continue that. And then suddenly, well, not suddenly because you deserved it, but you won the principal home position in Aurora Orchestra. That's an orchestra that I want to talk about because it's not very famous here in Spain. No. And it's such an amazing orchestra. Yeah. It's a very special orchestra. Yeah. Do you not tell them what's special about it? Um, well, I guess their main um, thing is that they, uh, sort of every program, the main piece will be played from memory without music. Um, and there's very, uh, I don't know if there's any, other, any other orchestra and it's, standing up. It's, exactly. That's weird. It's, yeah, it's, it's tiring. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know if there's any other orchestra that, that does does that. I'm not too sure. I think there might be one or two, but they they really make it their their own thing. I mean, if you are a violin player, I get that it's it's not easy, but you can learn your things by heart. But well, it's not easy, of course. I think a second violin part is actually one of the most difficult yes, or a viola or, or a second bassoon part. or something yeah, like that. Yeah. How do you prepare for that? Um, literally, like learning lines of a. Of a of a play, literally. <laughs> um, like so, I I get the get the parts. Um, I get some headphones, listen to a recording, um, literally go line by line, play it, play it a few times, try and play it without the music, and just work my way through the whole. And the rest bars piece that way. Yeah, you have and the, you have to listen to a cue, some kind of cue. Okay. Um, so I, you I actually very very rarely count actual okay, bars. Okay, that was my next question. Yeah. So it's more I, like a, a feeling of where you're yeah, playing. Yeah, exactly. Well, that can be quite dangerous, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, because be... <laughs> it means you're relying on other people yes. to play their part in the right place. Yes, and everyone is playing by heart, so yeah. everyone can... Everyone's relying just... on each other. Yes, it can, yes. It can well, it's quite, very it's quite romantic in a way, that an yeah. orchestra is relying on each other. Yeah. And then you, you won. It was weird how you won it, because it was, I, I want to talk about that concert. Yeah. With, it was with LPO, LPO. Yes. Yeah. What happened there? Um, because it's, it's amazing. Again, again. <laughs> <clears throat> so, in, uh, it was end of April 2022. Um, the LPO were meant to be doing uh, the Nassen, Oliver Nassen Horn Concerto with Ben Goldscheider. Um, and uh, the day before the concert, he tested positive for COVID. Um, and it was at the time when you still couldn't yeah. really yeah. couldn't really go into work when you had a positive test result so they were i think quite frantically calling up every of the all of the um big horn soloists or whatever however many there are there's not many of them <laughs> um in the uk and um i guess anyone with a sort of reputation to lose also do they no. want to do it yeah. because it's not like the nassen concerto it's it's played regularly but it's not the kind of thing that you just have up your sleeve. It's not a Mozart or something like that. Or no, Strauss it's not Mozart or... and it's not Strauss and yeah. um, it does just take a little bit of practice. 
So I think anyone with a with a reputation said no, they weren't free or they didn't want to. And you didn't whatever. have anything to lose, really, and you I won a lot. To lose. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, a couple of my teachers who they had asked um, knew that I had prepared the piece previously. Um, I don't even done done it with piano though, so that was that was interesting. <clears throat> um, and then. Yeah, I did the did a rehearsal with the orchestra that evening. <laughs> did a re uh, rehearsal the next morning in um, the concert. venue, and then the concert in the evening. And to be honest, I, like I, it was such short notice that I just didn't really have time to get nervous. In a way, I didn't have any time to think about it. You just did it. I just how was it? Sort of did it, and it went really well. <laughs> well, apparently it did because a yeah. <laughs> few months later, you were crowned as principal horn with London Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah. How is it to be principal horn at 20 years of age of one of the world living orchestras? Um, yeah, it's crazy. I remember they, they rang me and and the other principal, Johnny, he, he sort of said, I'm just going to cut to the point. Um, we want to offer you the job. And I remember just being on the end of the phone like... Yeah, how is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, I, I had no words. I didn't know what to say because I just didn't expect it at all. Do you mind him being so nervous and say, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, yeah really strange. And it, I did actually. I I spent about a week to properly decide what I wanted to do. Because of course, obviously yeah, it's, it's a that. big like life change. Yes, definitely. Um, and I wanted to make sure I could continue my studies and finish my degree. Um, but yeah, they were academy were flexible and Althea were flexible. I mean, so. if you go to your colleagues and say like, look, I'm gonna be principal horn in one of the best orchestras. Try and stop me. <laughs> so, so do you fancy if I do it or? <laughs> yeah. And how is it to? Because you're the youngest in the in the section. How is it to be leading all the colleges? Because I, like I, it could be weird. Like yeah, um, yeah, it is. It is a bit strange. But to be honest, I mean they've. That whole section, they've been in been in the job for ages, so they they all really know what they're doing. Yeah, um, and it's made it so easy for me to, to come and join because obviously I I'm so new to it, and but they've kind of just like are you the dictator with them or it. something? No, no, not <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, I'm too, still too scared to say yeah. anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to. I don't I, like I don't need to say anything because they're all great. Um, but yeah, no, they're they're, they're so welcoming and so friendly, mm -hmm. which is good. We're gonna finish here, but now that you've achieved the dream of thousands of musicians. What's next for you? What, like... um, good question. I mean, I'm still definitely still settling into the orchestra. Mm. I want to do it for however long I want to and however long it takes me to properly settle in and enjoy it. Um, I, I still want to really um, continue solo playing and chamber music. Um, so I'm trying to do as much of that on the side as possible. Um, but yeah. I don't know. You never we'll know. See. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we, we're going to see you with German orchestras too. With uh, well, the, maybe, British yeah, orchestras. yeah. It would be a good thing to go back to your origins and go to Germany. Yeah. Your parents will be so proud. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they are proud already, but <laughs> really even more proud. And if they I could be Germany, proud in German, yeah. so that, yeah. that could be yeah. that's really nice. <laughs> yeah. That could be nice. So, well, for now, uh, we're, we're going to call it a day. Have a good night. Thank you very much. The concert was amazing. I don't know if I said it, but it was so good. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, all of you guys, we're going to see you tomorrow. For now, have a good night. And you too, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.